Hi, I'm Stephen Gould, founder and master distiller here at Golden Moon Distillery in Golden, Colorado. Let me show you my distillery. So the room we're in now is still house number one. When we opened this distillery, we set up in just this small space, and the intent was to begin to do a very long R&D process to develop a mature family of products. So we spent the better part of a decade where we were doing nothing but low volume production here in the small still house number one. And then we expanded next door, which we'll show you in a second, into a much larger world-class uh, whiskey production facility. So behind me, we have several stills. So this is a mid 1930s DeRoy Simplex Alembic. This still is the still we use to all our fruit to, fruit to glass products. So our Colorado Applejack brandy, our Colorado Grappa, a little bit of Colorado grape brandy as well. Now this still was built in 1933 and it is designed for farmers, orchard owners and vintners to be able to make distilled spirit products out of their own agricultural produce. So it allowed a farmer to be able to keep this in the barn year round and pull it out so they could make pro their, their own products on site. Now the way they did this and the way this still is designed is this still has no gaskets, it uses water joints. So 100 years ago, gaskets were all made out of paper, and if you didn't use them all the time, they would dry out, you'd have to replace them. So this stills manufacturer designed the still specifically so you would not need to replace the gaskets because there weren't any, it was all water joints. Now we use this still almost every day of the year. It's been highly modified, largely to keep it running. Originally it was wood fired, then at one point in Europe, it was converted to propane gas. And now we've got it plumbed with a modern burner and modern safety controls to use natural gas. But it's still this antique brandy still that makes beautiful brandies. So this is one of our Black Forest stills. We own four of these. This particular still was built in about 1953. It was made in the Black Forest region of Germany by a company called Friedrich Kleinschmidt of Schengen. Now, this is the still that we've prototyped all of our products on here at Golden Moon Distillery. So it's what's called a hybrid still, which means that it's got a boiler, it's got a reflux condenser or some sort of, um, some sort of device that makes things more efficient. It's got a vapor line and a condenser where a classic pot still would not have the reflux condenser. We use this still virtually every day. We make gin, absinthe, a variety of liquors and liqueurs. We also prototyped all our whiskeys on this still originally. As you can see, it's running today. We're actually running gin. And as you can see, there's spirit coming out of the still and into a catch vessel. It's a very small still. This particular style of still is sort of the grandfather of all the, the, the commercial craft stills you see around the world today. So all the smaller stills, most of which are made in Germany, uh, Carl Engineering, Mueller, Bavarian Holstein. This is sort of their grandfather. So this is our silo. It's 56,000 pounds of grain. And considering that our grain source, the source that we buy our grains from is only two and a half miles away from us. This allows us to essentially run as hard as we can, make as much whiskey as we have capacity to make and never run out of grain. Whenever we get to the cone in this silo with grain levels, we simply pick up the phone, we call our grain suppliers, their trucks show up and they refill it. So this is our grist mill. So we take our grain when it's barley out of the silo behind us. We bring it into this grist mill. It's a four roller mill. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna break it down and grind it so that we can expose the insides of that grain to water to go through the mashing process. This particular mill we use exclusively for malted barley, uh, which we use in our single malt. And what's really nice about this mill, it does a great job. It's similar to what you would see in large Scottish distilleries. But what's different is this mill is dust free, which means that we don't need to worry about explosion risk or any of, any of those types of things. It's very clean. It does a great job, it's a great workhorse, and it runs all day long. You know, every time we mash, we, we turn it on, we bring the grist uh, into 
the lauder ton or if we're making bourbon or rye into the mash ton and we mash to make whiskey. So this is our mash vessel. We use this when we're making bourbon and rye. And this vessel serves two purposes. First, we're gonna put corn, wheat, rye, oats, in whatever quantities we need for the specific whiskey we're making into this vessel. And we're gonna essentially cook them. And by that, I mean, we are gonna heat them up to the point where the starch in those grains gelatinizes. Then we're gonna cool them down a little bit and we're gonna add malted barley as an enzyme source. Now those enzymes are they gonna convert that starch into sugars so that when we put the slurry or, or mash into the fermenters and add yeast, that yeast can then access those sugars and convert them into alcohol. So this is our lauder ton. It's what's called a half ton lauder ton. That means it holds thousand pounds of grain and we're, we bring grain in here and we do what's called mashing. Now mashing is the process of using temperature to activate the enzymes in the grain to convert the starches into sugar so that the yeast can then ferment and create alcohol. This particular vessel is used for malted barley and it, we do the process of laudering in the same vessel. So what that means is we're going to mash in this vessel and then laudering is separating solids from liquids, which we do for single malt. It's exactly the same process you would see for making beer. So once our, our wash or our mash is, is, it comes out of either our lauder ton or our mash ton, it's gonna go into these fermenters. And these fermenters are just big tanks. Uh, they've got a glycol jacket on them, which allows us some temperature control. And we're gonna induce yeast into the, into the liquid that we put in to these fermenters. Now yeast is a living creature and it consumes sugar and produces alcohol and a little bit of CO2 and a few other chemicals that we call conjugars. Those are flavor components. So here at Golden Moon, we use proprietary yeast. We don't use standard whiskey production yeast. We have our own yeasts. And that gives us just a little bit of unique flavor into our final products. And so what happens is when we come out of the mash or lauder ton, we take a liquid that's between seven and 9% alcohol. So when the liquid comes out of the lauder ton or the mash ton, it's essentially a sugar and water solution. It's been made from grain. We put that into these fermenters. We induce yeast. Several days later, we'll have a liquid that is between seven and a half and 9% alcohol by volume. So this is our stripping still. It's a 500 gallon Scottish style pot. It was custom built for us at Specific Mechanical in Victoria, British Columbia. It's a little different than their standard still. Uh, we've modified it uh, with an extra boil ball, which you see behind me, and a larger sump that allows us to put large quantities of solids into the still. That means that not only can I use it to strip for whiskey, and by strip I mean it's the first of, of two or three distillations but I can also use it to make gin and other uh, liquors and liqueurs that require heavy amounts of botanicals. We can put them in the still and still get them out of the bottom easily. Now, when we get done with our fermentation process, we're gonna take that seven and a half to 9% wash or mash, and we're gonna put it into the still behind me. We're gonna distill it off and it's gonna come out between 21 and 24% alcohol. And that's what we call low wines. So as you can see, this is liquid actually coming out of the still, and it comes through what's called a parrot. And a parrot is a device that allows us to put a hydrometer into that spirit coming out of the still so we can get an idea of what level of alcohol the still is producing. And when we run the still, we take and we put the liquid, which is a mixture of water and alcohol and other chemicals, into the still. That's what we call a wash or a mash. We slowly heat it up. And as it heats up, those various chemicals will volatize and come across. And they'll be recondensed in the condenser up here, come through the parrot so we can see how much alcohol is coming out and then go into a tank. So this is our spirit still. We also use this, this still for gin and other liquors and liqueurs. It's essentially a scale up of the Black Forest still you saw in, in still house number one. This one is custom designed by me. It was built for us by Specific Mechanical in Victoria, British Columbia. So what we do when we're making whiskey, 
So a bourbon, a rye, a single malt, is we're gonna run on the 500 gallon still you saw before. We're gonna bring it into this room and run it through this still. Now, as a spirit still, most of what we do here is a double distillation process. So we'll do a single run on the 500, a single run on this still, but we also do triple distilled product as well, which may mean a double run on this still. So the final run we're gonna do for all of our whiskeys on this still, we're gonna slowly heat up those low wines, which are 21 to 24% alcohol. And as they heat up the lesser alcohols, things like methanol and cyanide are, are gonna come across first. We're gonna get rid of those. That's what we call our heads cut. Next will come the hearts, which is what we really wanna keep. And so that's a mixture of alcohol and water and other chemicals that we call conjugars. Those are flavor components. That's the character of the grain that we're using. So that's that nice corn taste in bourbon. That's that spicy and earthy taste you get in rye. That's that sweet malty character you're gonna get in a single malt. So we're gonna take those hearts and we're going to set those aside and those will become our final product. And then we're gonna take the last little bit and this is where all your less volatile heavy chemicals come across. We call those fusel oils. Now we're gonna cut those. Those will become our tails cuts. Now a lot of distilleries throw those out. What we do here at Golden Moon is we take those tails and we put them back into the next run. That adds a little bit of more earthy character, a little bit of additional mouthfeel to our whiskeys. It also increases our yield by about 5%. So when the whiskey or the new make spirit is, comes out of the second still, which we just saw, we're gonna bring it into our barrel room and we're gonna put it into barrels and we're gonna mature it. Now here at Golden Moon, we use a variety of different sizes and types of barrels. The first is what we call a blood tub. Uh, we call it a blood tub because it's a smaller barrel, about 22 liters. It's the size of a barrel that used to be put underneath a butcher's table to catch blood when they butchered uh, animals. So we're gonna use those very little teeny barrels because it's a much higher level of extraction of the barrel character. So the turpins, the tannins, the vanillins, the things that give whiskey its flavor, you're gonna get much more of those out of a little barrel. Then we're gonna use what they call an, a man, a, an American standard barrel or a bourbon barrel. That's your classic 53 gallon whiskey barrel. Next, we're gonna use what's called a hogshead. These are typically made for wine. And here at Golden Moon, we use these uh, as secondary cash conditioning vessels. So we're gonna take our bourbons and our ryes and our single malts, and we're gonna put them in used California port style wine barrels, used rum barrels, used vermouth barrels, and we're getting ready to start doing stuff with tequila as well. So we're gonna take these barrels that have held something else, and we're gonna fill them with our whiskeys and let the whiskeys absorb a little bit of the character of whatever was in that barrel before. Then we use another type of barrel that's called a torpedo. Now this style of barrel comes from the island of Madeira. These are custom built for us uh, in Arkansas by a small family cooperage that's been in business for 120 years. And we use these because they're sort of a midway point between a small barrel and a large barrel, but they give us an incredibly beautiful flavor much higher level of extraction, but still a fair amount of breathing over a couple of years to give us a nice soft whiskey that really gets a lot of that oaky char flavor in it. I wanna thank you for allowing me to show you Golden Moon Distillery. I hope you're enjoying tasting our products. And if you're ever in Golden, Colorado, please come by and visit us.